I'm so angry I can hardly see straight. Watching Benjamin Netanyahu get up to the podium at the United Nations to spew his lies and hate and propaganda was sickening. The only good thing was seeing all of those delegates get up and walk out because they refused to listen to him. Of course, then he says that the UN is a swamp of anti-Semitism, but no, world leaders feel obligated because of the opposition of the people in their countries. They're getting up one by one to denounce Israel's genocidal acts. But one country that's not denouncing Israel, the United States. Oh, but we hear from the Biden administration, we're working 24 seven to get a ceasefire in Gaza. It's been almost a year now. Then we hear about Lebanon. Oh, we're working 24 seven to get a 21 day pause. Uh, I don't think Netanyahu is listening to that pause. On the contrary, what did he announce? He authorized the use of 2000 pound bunker buster bombs to level a residential area in Beirut today. We don't know the final count of the dead, but it will be in the hundreds. And those are US bombs. And while the US is saying, oh, we're trying so hard to convince Israel, you know what they announced yesterday? $8.7 billion new aid package. That's our money, US taxpayers. So there is no hope in this Biden administration. There is not even hope in the United Nations because in the end, it's all talk and no action. Where is the hope? The hope is in the streets. And I have been so inspired by seeing all the people who've come out in the last couple of days, filling the streets of New York City with protests, with calls to arrest Netanyahu, with calls for an end to the US arming of this genocidal regime. That's where our hope lies, with the people, with the grassroots, here in the US and all over the world. We say to the people of Palestine, we are with you. We say to the people of Lebanon, we are with you.